with neat parents and a neat dog. She sings, she dances, and she plays every sport perfectly. Her homework is flawless, and she always says the right thing. The only problem is, we really don't like her. <laughs> Lulu's Guide to Having a Lot of Friends. Compliment everyone, even if you don't mean it. Offer to help everyone with a math assignment, Give great gifts, drop money on the ground, turn your bedroom into a theme park, have a lot of delicious snacks at your house, become a famous movie star and sign lots of autographs. Uh, wait a second. If you're doing all this, you won't have time to play with your friends. <laughs> friends and my little enemies too why yes if you want to Yippee! bye mom i'll ask tubby first he loves parties there'll be ice cream and cake and cookies and everything oh well, sounds great lulu but i can't go i'm gonna be busy tomorrow night you busy what have you got to do tomorrow night Come, uh, go, uh, go, go. All right, don't come to my party. See if I care. I'm sorry, Lulu. I didn't think Tubby would ever do anything like that to me. I thought we were best friends. That's enough, Iggy. Hi, Willie. Hi, Iggy. You want to come to my birthday party tomorrow night? Uh, I'm afraid I can't, Lulu. Uh, my, 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 my mother isn't going to let me go. How do you know that? You haven't even asked her. I, um... Oh, I'm going to go swimming in the lake tomorrow morning. And when my mother sees my wet hair, she won't let me go. Oh! Fine, go swimming tomorrow. Get your hair wet. Oh! Will you come, Iggy? No! What's wrong with him? Hello, Alvin. Want to come to my birthday party tomorrow night? Will you have ice cream? Yes. And cake? Yes. Oh, boy! Then you're coming? No. I only go to boys' birthday parties. <laughs> oh, oh, there's Annie, Jeannie, and Joni, my best girlfriends. I know they'll come to my party. Hi, girls. I'm having a birthday party tomorrow night. You want to come? Oh, gosh, I, I can't, Lulu. You see, my folks are going out tomorrow night. And my grandfather promised he'd sit with me. But if you come to my wow. party, your grandpa won't have to sit with you. You don't understand, Lulu. I'm sitting him, too. We kind of watch each other. Then bring your grandpa to my party. He... he doesn't like crowds, Lulu. Uh, we can't come either, Lulu. You see, we, uh... uh... This isn't happening to me. I've asked all my friends and not one of them will come. Maybe some of my enemies will come. I could start with Gloria. We don't like each other at all. 
A birthday party? I'd love to come, Lulu. You would? Of course. It's so nice of you to ask me, Lulu. I didn't think you'd want any pretty girls at your party. Well, bye, Gloria. Ah! <coughs> <coughs> Wilbur the Rich Kid will definitely say no. He doesn't like me. I'd like to speak with Wilbur, please. Master Wilbur will see you. Miss Lulu, sir. You may leave, Cranberry. <laughs> His name is Bradbury, but I call him Cranberry for short. Pretty funny, eh? Wilbur, um, w would you like to come to my birthday party tomorrow night? Birthday party? Sure, I'll be there, but... But... But don't expect me to bring a birthday present. Oh, oh, that's okay. Uh, just come, that's all. Yahoo! Whoopee! Yahoo! Right on! Imagine that. Two people I don't even like are coming. Got you good there, Lulu. <laughs> oh, uh, say, Johnny, uh, would you like to come to my birthday party tomorrow night? Wow, a party? Sure. Your little friends will be arriving for your party any minute now. You can wait for me here, Cranberry. Only my enemies are coming, Mom. My friends are too busy. I guess my friends are my enemies, and my enemies are my friends. <sighs> Tie that, would you, Lulu? I'll get it! Here you go, Lulu. I got you a present after all. Thanks, Wilbur. Just what I wanted. Oh, it's the most beautiful doll in the world. Hi, Lulu. Uh, thanks, Jenny. Couldn't be much in such a little package. Oh, look! Wilbur. Well, well, Gloria. Come in, come in. This is for you, Lulu. Happy birthday. Thanks, Johnny. Wow, a necklace. I never knew what good friends my enemies could be. Huh? I'll get it. Hello? I'm not speaking to you, Tubby Tompkins. Oh, my best pal. I wanted to wish you a happy birthday before... Before... Uh, What's wrong, Tubby? Are you sick? I might not make it. Goodbye. <gasps> Tubby, my... best friend! I have to go to see him. Step on it, Cranberry. It sounded like he had some rare jungle disease. <gasps> Lulu. Is that you? Yes, Tubby. I'm here. No, don't. The light hurts my eyes. What's wrong with you, Tubby? Oh, uh, come closer. I, I... Yes? Yes? I just wanted to... to say... Happy birthday, Lulu! Oh, wow! We surprise you, Lulu. Happy birthday! Did you think we would? Open mine first. I guess I only have friends after all. Do be do be do. Lulu. they say they're gonna do. Like my friend Annie, for instance. She said she'd call me this morning, and you can be sure she will. The only question is, when? <laughs> hmm. She didn't call. Well, the next time she does, I'm going to... pick up the phone and say... Hello? Perfect. 
<laughs> a beauty contest. Ouch! This afternoon? For us girls, Tubby? Yep. Come one, come all. We're gonna pick the most beautiful girl in the neighborhood. Are you one of the judges, Tubby? I'm the head judge, Gloria, and all the fellers in the club are assistant judges. Tubby, did I ever tell you that I like you? Really, Gloria? Wow! Well, if I have anything to say about it, I bet you'll win the contest. If I do, I'll give you a great big kiss. Wow! Being a judge has its perks. Who do you think is going to win the boys' beauty contest, Lulu? Gloria, who else? Whoa! Gotcha! <laughs> oh, you look so beautiful, Annie. Maybe you'll win the beauty contest. <laughs> A beauty contest? <gasps> How exciting! Did you know that I like you very much, Willie? Honest, Gloria? You mean it? Listen, Gloria, don't be surprised if you win the beauty contest. If I do, I'll give you a great big kiss. I'm sure to win now. Tubby and Willie are the most important people in the boys' club. <laughs> Hi, Gloria. Have you heard that the boys are holding a beauty contest for all the girls in the neighborhood? Oh, really? How silly. Why silly? Because the only way someone else will win is if I don't go. What makes you so sure you'll win? I haven't left anything to chance. Just wait and see. Ugh. I don't care who wins, as long as it's not Gloria. I bet she's done something to the judges. Huh? I wouldn't pick me, even if I was one of the judges. Ooh, let's try my mother's beauty cream. This isn't any better. You're right. We gotta think of a way to keep Gloria from winning the contest. <clears throat> hey, why didn't I think of this before? <laughs> Lulu, you're a genius. I sure am. Won't well, no, Gloria be surprised? Nobody has a chance against Gloria. <laughs> She'd win even if she was dipped in castor oil. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what's that? See, Annie? It'll be simple. All we gotta do now is round up the girls and tell them our plan. A boy beauty contest? They're gonna pick the prettiest boy? Well, I'm not pretty, so I won't win. Well, neither am I. No way I'm gonna win. I don't know, Iggy. You might. No way! Um, well... I gotta go. Uh, I hear my mom calling. Bye. Bye. Bye, This has got to work. It cost me three weeks' allowance. Whoa! Ooh. Here, this is for you. Flowers? For me? Why? It's, um... It's because... I like you. And? And, um, when you girls pick the prettiest boy, it's not gonna be me, is it? Maybe. Oh, no! No, Lulu, you can't do that to me! If I won, the fellas would never forget it. Well, maybe I could see that you're not picked. If... If what? I'll do anything! Okay, listen. So long, Lulu! Huh? Here, Lulu. From me to you. Chocolates! Why, Willie, this is so sudden. Lulu, you won't pick me as the prettiest boy, will you? I can maybe do something about it if... I'll do anything! Just name it! Look, Gloria's already there. Hi, girls. All right, girls, line up here and parade past the judges' bench. Yeah, I'll go first. Foo! Here comes Gloria. 
Judges have decided that Annie is the most beautiful girl in the neighborhood. Me? Her? <gasps> Double crossers? Here's your kisses. <gasps> Me? Attention, everybody. Now we're gonna pick the prettiest boys. One more time, please. We're not sure yet. Me? Well, I don't know. Uh, what do you think, Annie? Me? Hey, make up your minds! Me? Okay, girls, gather round. We think... You're, You're all the prettiest, prettiest boys, boys in the neighborhood! In the neighborhood. <laughs> Iggy's prettier than me. Not tough. You're pretty. Iggy's not. pretty. I, I think we better head from my Call house, girls. Call me pretty, will you? Really? Step up, You're sir. pretty. Yeah. pretty. Look at all the stuff the boys gave us, so we wouldn't vote for them. <laughs> Annie, what's the matter? I'm so happy because I'm the most beautiful girl in the neighborhood. These are all the Valentine's Day cards I got from my secret admirers. What's that you say? You didn't get any this year. Don't feel bad. Maybe you're shy and people just don't know you very well. Or maybe everyone likes you so much they just couldn't find a good enough card. Ugh. So really, getting lots of Valentine's Day cards isn't a measure of how popular you are. Oops. But telling everyone how many cards you got is... making a personal appearance at the Bijou Theater. He's not so big, Annie. He's only about my size. No, no, Lulu. I mean, he's such a big movie star. All the girls are crazy about him. Well, I don't like him. He's too stuck up. Oh, Lulu, come on. Hey! Let's go to the Bijou Theater. Well, Maybe we can see him come out of the stage door. Gosh. Oh. Gosh, look at all those silly girls wanting to meet Gregory. Right. Silly. The door is open and he's coming out. Gregory! 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 Gregory girls again. Gregory, They're Gregory, always following Gregory, me around. Gregory, it's Gregory, so boring. Gregory, but they're your fans, Gregory. Gregory Just humor them a while. Gregory, no! Gregory, you shoo them away, George. Gregory, or I'll shoo Gregory, you away. Gregory, okay, kids, uh, run along. Mr. Gallant has to get to his car. Little pest. Come on, Annie, let's... Oh. Oh. Hold it, please. Great shot. Are you okay, Little Lou? <laughs> yeah, I just tripped over a crack in the sidewalk. Gregory, 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 Gregory. I wish those silly girls would leave him alone. They're always bothering him wherever he goes. Oh, Gregory. Ah, uh, go on. Gregory, Gregory. I'll get it, Mom! You ought to be ashamed of yourself, Lulu. Gosh, what's the matter, Tubby? I never thought you'd do anything like this. Oh! <gasps> Lovesick girl throws herself at feet of movie star? I can't believe it! Oh, listen to her, 
were screaming with joy. It sickens me. I didn't! I didn't! I didn't! Don't tell me you didn't. Pictures don't lie. I didn't throw myself at his feet. I tripped by accident. Kids, what's all the hollering about? Look at that, Mom. Oh, why, that's you, dear. And Gregory Gallant. I bet you're ashamed to death of her, aren't you, Mrs. Moppet? But I didn't throw myself at his feet, Mom. I fell accidentally. This is awful. Everybody will make fun of me. Right, everybody. Maybe you can persuade Gregory Gallant to explain to the newspapers what really happened. That's what I'll do. I'll go down there myself and see him right away. <laughs> she just wants to see him again. Wait up! I want to see Gregory Gallant right now. Ah, uh, you and every other girl in the world. Sorry, he's going on stage in a few minutes. But I've been on a picture with him. Oh! oh. Well, that's different. His dressing room is right over there. Come in, but make it fast. How'd you get in here? And what do you want? I was in the picture with you that was in the newspaper this afternoon. Oh, boy. What a beautiful publicity picture that was. I didn't throw myself at your feet. I slipped and fell. And you know it. So? So? I want you to tell the newspapers to print that it was all a mistake. <laughs> right. You ought to be glad you got so close to me. Now scram, little girl. I've got to go on stage. Hey! Listen, you! Are you ready, Gregory? We're going on any minute now. I'm ready, Marilyn. Who's that? Another fan. Just ignore her. I'm not finished with you yet. Ladies and gentlemen, we now have the honor of presenting Gregory Gallant in person in a scene from his latest picture, Rich Little Poor Boy. Oh, what a beautiful yacht. Someday when I am rich, I will own a yacht like that. Ah, there you are. Help! I'm falling overboard! Save me! Do not worry. I will save you. <sighs> Be calm, little girl. My strong arms will not fail you. <sighs> My rich father will reward you handsomely for this, little boy. Yay! Shh! I expect <clears throat> no reward, little girl. You may be poor, but you are rich in goodness of heart, and... Psst! Scram, you! Whoa! Whoa! <clears throat> Help! I'm stuck! Help! Ouch! I will <clears throat> save you, Gregory! <clears throat> Whoa! You saved him! Yay! Now, you tell all those people that I didn't... I'll teach you to spoil my act! Don't you dare! See the movie. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now look what you did. It would have been easier if you just did what I asked. All I want is to get my hands on you. Come here. <laughs> it couldn't be worse. Ah, ouch. <gasps> it's locked. It may ruin my whole career, but it'll be worth it getting you. No, it isn't. Hey, Gregory, can I have your autograph? Hold it, please. Thanks. <laughs> Mom! Mom, look! Oh, my. It was awfully nice of Gregory to pose like that with you, Lulu. Yep. He sure fell for me. <laughs> my parents said I could invite three friends to my slumber party. Let's see. I'll definitely invite Annie because she's my best friend. So that's one. Then I'll invite the twins, Jeannie and Joni. And since they're always together, that's two. And I'll have to invite their cousin Betty because she'd be hurt if I don't. And well, that goes for the whole street too. So I'll have to invite the entire gang, which makes three. My parents will be happy I did just what they wanted. <laughs>
Thank <laughs> you.